Hello and welcome. Today we are going to deal with part 2 of history chapter The Age of Industrialization. If you missed the first part, there it is and also in the description box below. You always get a second chance in my class. And if you have not already subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button and let's continue. Transportation industry. What do we have here? Roadways, waterways and railways. So let's take the first one, roadways. John McAdam discovered a process of McAdamized road. What used to happen is he used a mud binder between two layers of stones. Mud was later on replaced with tar. What about the waterways? Robert Fulton discovered first steamboat called Claremont. And the first canal was dug from Worsley to Manchester to carry coal from mines to the furnaces. And what about the railways then? The first steam locomotive rocket was invented by George Stevenson. In 1830, the first railway line was laid from Manchester to Liverpool. Even in India, they laid their railway lines in 1853 by Lord Dalhousie. What about communication system? Was it improved during the age of industrialization? Yes. The invention of telephone by Alexander Graham Bell improved their communication. Then there was a discovery of wireless telegraph by Guelmo Marconi and the, and the idea of penny post was brought forward by Roland Hills. With the transportation and communication set up, there was also a revolution in agricultural sector. Now what is a revolution in agricultural sector? Changes in the condition of cultivation of land is called as agricultural revolution. During this time there was introduction of new machines, new crops, Jetro Tull started to use scientific way of cultivating crops. He invented seed drill, horsepower hoeing in cultivation. Townshend invented crop rotation and Bakewell invented scientific way of breeding animals. So what effect did industrial revolution have on the society? Now England was called as the workshop of the world. English had their colonies in different parts of the world and it was very easy for them to get raw material at cheaper rates and they used to sell the finished products at higher prices. They also used to get slaves from Africa to work in the plantation of European masters. There were definitely some positive sides to industrial revolution. There was mobility with the help of railways and waterways. It brought the nations together. It also gave rise to banking and credit facilities. Then what were the negative effects? Exploitation of workers because workers were at the mercy of their owners. So owners could treat their workers whatever way they wanted to. Wages, the salaries were very less. So even women and children had to work. And workers were not treated like humans. They were treated like machines. They had to work, work and work. Another negative effect was about child labor. A child had to work about 10 to 14 hours a day with very minimum breaks. The machinery used to work so fast that it used to cut fingers, arms and legs of little children. There was breathing problem and even on Sundays they had to come to the factories to clean the machine. Because of small size of children, they were employed, they were put to work in mines so they could send them down easily. Only people who benefited from all this torture were the owners. Industrial revolution also caused a lot of environmental problems. There was a lot of burning of coal to produce power. There was industrial waste which was disposed everywhere. 
there were waterborne diseases. At the same time, there was a lot of air pollution. That's it for today. If you enjoyed these classes, hit that like button and let me know about it. See you next time. Take care. Thank you very much.